Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about the hiring process of the company Virtusa. So let's discuss first about the company, then its hiring process, its eligibility criteria and what is the test pattern and what is the syllabus which you need to prepare. So here, this is all about the company. So this is actually uh, like a corporation one in the IT sector. It is an American IT service company only. So it services, you can see here, IT consulting, application development, business consulting, legacy, enterprise, SAP, cloud, mobility. Let's see the major part. That is about the hiring process. So here, hiring process of which is a consist of three rounds. The first one is online assessment, second one is technical interview, and third one is HR interview. See, sometimes uh, there might be a chance of conducting GD, group discussion also. So based on the number of students, those who are clearing the first round, if the students, like if the count is uh, large, they might conduct group discussion also. Like in the previous years, sometimes they have conducted GD and sometimes they won't. So this is all about the hiring process. So those who clear the online assessment will have your technical interview. And if you clear the technical interview, you will have the final HR interview. And sometimes you might go through group discussion, then technical interview, then HR interview. So eligibility criteria like uh, BE, BTEC, ME, MTech, any discipline students can apply for the same and 6 or 6.5 CGPA. So it also varies. Uh, you can check in their official website for uh, like those are attending off campus drives. Those are attending on campus drive, you are, uh, you'll get the information through the college itself. And currently no area should be there. And here is a important part that is a test pattern so here if you see in the test pattern we have around six sections so first one is aptitude which consists of 10 questions computer fundamentals which consists of 30 questions again zero code consisting of 10 questions communication 72 questions coding four questions and power coding three questions so here if you observe we have two sections for coding one is normal coding part another one is power coding so they might hire uh, like for two roles based on your performance in coding and power coding so previously it happened so this year it is not it uh, like confirmed but there may be a chance to hire for two different roles on two different package so one will be associate engineer and other one will be associate software engineer. So the package will vary around associate engineer from 4 to 5 LPA, whereas associate software engineer will vary from 6 to 7 or something like that. So there might be a chance to hire based on your performance on the coding and power coding. So basically coding is going to be a easy part, whereas the power coding is going to be difficult one, complex one. So in coding EC level questions like, so you will, you can expect questions from fundamentals of programming in that you can concentrate more on arrays and strings. And in coding part, like you can solve in any of the four languages, C, C++, Java and Python. Whereas in power coding, you can solve on C++, Java and Python. C is not allowed. So in power coding, you can expect questions from data structures and algorithm of four level questions. So linked list, acute trees, graphs, and the algorithms like mathematical algorithm, dynamic programming, uh, backtracking, bitwise algorithm, string algorithm. So you can concentrate on DSA topics in order to crack the power coding round. So this is all about the coding part. So coding round consists of four questions of AC level from fundamentals of programming. You can concentrate more on arrays and strings, and you can code it in any language like C, C++, Java, and Python. In power coding, you can expect questions from data structures and algorithm. So it consists of three questions. You can code it in C++, Java and Python. C is not allowed. 
so this is all about the coding part and if you see the aptitude section so here you can expect questions from logical and the quantitative analysis so there will not uh, you don't have any questions from the verbal part so you can expect more questions from quants and logical one so if i say quants and logical so what are all the syllabus you should cover is you can cover averages percentage time and work profit loss time spent in distance age detection blood relations and uh, code words like coding and decoding number series uh, visual reasoning so likewise uh, percentages profit loss permutation probability so majority of the quants and logical topics you can cover in order to clear the aptitude section and second one computer fundamentals right so important topics which you can cover for computer fundamentals is hoops concepts so under hoops concepts class and object inheritance encapsulation abstraction polymorphism then you can uh, expect mcqs from data structures so like time complexity based questions dynamic programming based questions greedy algorithm sorting linked list trees graph stack queue so you can expect mcqs from data structures similarly rdbms that is uh, relational database management system and sql structured query language like database relationship database operators types of joins sub queries uh, keys constraints so these are all the topics which will be coming under rdbms and sql so this is all about the computer fundamental so all together you should concentrate on oops concept data structures rdbms and sql and then zero code so zero code programming fundamentals like you can expect zero code questions from uh, based on bitwise operators uh, based on recursion arrays functions looping uh, conditional statements so based on the fundamentals of programming concepts you will can expect uh, zero code and communication so communication round it is going to be checking your reading writing listening and speaking skill so reading comprehension or any writing questions email writing so in order to check these skills like reading writing listening and speaking this round is being conducted and it consists of around 72 questions so this is all about the test pattern for the which user test and uh, the total duration is going to be 3 uh, 3 hours that is 180 minutes and there is no section wise timing so there is no section wise timing in the sense it is not uh, divided like uh, each section is having particular time so all together you are supposed to complete the entire six sections in 3 hours that is in 180 minutes yes so this is all about the test packet so all together we have six sections and six sections has to be completed in 3 hours that is 180 minutes so once you clear this round right you will be having your next round that is technical interview so this will be a one to one interview and basically in this interview you can expect questions from your resume your projects uh, some basic sql queries java oops concept etc so whatever you learn from your uh, b degree right related to software development that will be the questions so in order to crack uh, this interview round one should need in depth technical knowledge so the questions asked will be of little bit level like difficulty level will be high and you should require a lot of preparation right so group description uh, may or may not they will conduct so when they receive a lot of applications right companies don't want to invest their time and energy to interact with each and every one so it is not a necessarily an elimination round so uh, there is a chance to two ways you can take see uh, there is a chance of conducting gd as well as there is the uh, chance of not conducting gd and one is uh, it if it is conducted it can be considered as an elimination round and sometimes they will check your communication along with your uh, convincing skill in order to check your leadership quality uh, in order to check your adaptability to work with a the team they will be conducting and after that finally hr interview right so if a candidate uh, is clearing 
tell technical interview like your placement possibilities of uh, 95% age it is okay only and uh, this HR interview will be same as the other IT organization so it will start with the basic introduction part and it will go on so this is how it will be right so that's all about the uh, hiring process so we have discussed about the hiring process its eligibility criteria test pattern and syllabus in depth and how one can prepare and uh, so on 